This question appeared in NEET PG 2018 and it talks about which of the following is an X link in inheritance, which of the following has an X link inheritance and your options are A, sickle cell anemia, B, galactosemia, C, thalassemia and D, color blindness. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. There is a very important announcement. We have just launched our NEET PG previous year question bank in a book format which is available on Amazon. Just go and check the description to know more about it. Now, a lot of important diseases the inheritance has been asked life flight center in previous years. So you should know the most important you know uh, diseases and their inheritance pattern. Now, it's literally very very difficult to learn all the inheritance patterns. So I will just list down two important categories that is X-linked inheritance and autosomal dominant inheritance. Anything apart from that, presume as autosomal recessive when it is asked in the examination. Okay, so I'll just list most important X-linked inheritance and autosomal dominant inheritance and anything apart from that, you presume that autosomal recessive because most of the diseases will be autosomal recessive in nature. Now let's try to enumerate all the X-linked inheritance disorders. So X-linked both dominant as well as recessive, I will just mark out the X-linked dominant separately. Okay, so the first is hemophilia. Okay, hemophilia A and B. Very, very important X-linked recessive. Then we have got ornithine transcarbomylase deficiency. So this is a urea cycle disorder. Again, very importantly asked in your examination. The third important is G6PD deficiency, glucose 6-phosphate uh, you know, deficiency. The next is your Fabry's disease and Hunter's disease. Okay. Next important X-linked uh, disorder is your leash Nyan syndrome. Next is color blindness. Another very very important which has both X-link as well as autosomal dominant variant is Charcot Mary Tooth Disease. This has both X-link uh, uh, recessive variant also and autosomal dominant variant also. A very important uh, dystrophy, muscular dystrophy which has been asked multiple times is your Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Angelman syndrome. Okay. And the last is Lefelter's syndrome. Now, I have not included anything which has already X linked in their name, like X linked sideroblastic anemia, that you can very easily guess. So, these are important. Let's look at some of the X linked dominant. So, if all these are X linked recessive, let's look at X linked dominant. So, again, very important this is Frazile X syndrome. Very, very important. This is an X linked dominant. Then you have got vitamin D resistant rickets. Okay. Again, very frequently asked in the uh, examination, this has X linked dominant inheritance. Another very important, you know, syndrome, Alport syndrome. This again has X linked dominant. And the last I will talk is Rett syndrome. So again, this has X linked dominant. So if you remember these diseases, you are very clear that most of, I mean, the list is very big, but these are which have been most frequently asked in your previous exams. So hemophilia A and B, ornithine transcarbomylase deficiency, G6PD deficiency, Fabry's, uh, Hunt, uh, Fabry's Hunters, Lishnian, color blindness, Charcot Marie Tooth, remember it has autosomal dominant variants also, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, Angelman syndrome, Prefectron syndrome, and specifically X-linked dominant. Dominant, you have got Frazile X syndrome, vitamin D resistance circuit, Alport syndrome, and Red syndrome. So these are important, you know, uh, X-linked disorders. Let's look at autosomal disorders. And why I am giving you this list is, on one hand, you will have X-linked, autosomal dominant, and anything which is not in this list, presume as autosomal recessive. If you can learn the entire list, well and good. But this will help you in examination to almost solve most of the questions because all the questions which have been asked in previous year have tried to include in this list. 
So let's look at important autosomal dominant disorders. So we know Huntington's, Chorea or Huntington's disease is there, polycystic kidney disease, neurofibromatosis, cystic fibrosis, familial hypercholesterolemia so anything which has familial in, in its name generally it is also going to be autosomal dominant because it runs in families so autosomal dominant factor very important mark one syndrome okay acute intermittent porphyria again very frequently they have asked about the inheritance patent of acute intermittent porphyria Liddell's syndrome, D. George syndrome, and Nail Patela syndrome. Again, I am telling you, I am writing only those which have been very frequently asked in the examination. Okay, then you have got very easy men 1, 2, 2B. All these are. Uh, again autosomal dominant then you have got uh, uh, medullary cystic disease you have got pew zegers syndrome then most of the spinocerebral ataxia spinocerebral ataxia again will have you know autosomal dominant inheritance and then the two is one hippel lidow and one willy brand disease so these are the most important autosomal dominant uh, you know inheritance pattern which you will remember again huntington's chorea polycystic kidney disease neurofibromatosis cystic fibrosis familial hypercholesterolemia Marfan syndrome, acute intermittent porphyria, Liddell syndrome, Dior syndrome, Nail Patella syndrome, MEN 1, 2, 2B, medullary cystic disease, Pugh Ziegler syndrome, spinocerebral ataxia, most of the varieties, and one Hippel Lindau syndrome, and one Willebrand disease. So these are the most important autosomal disorders which I have listed. Now let's come back to the question: Which of the following is an X-linked inheritance disorder? So we know color blindness is only X-linked, and as I have told you. None of these are in the list of autosomal dominant also. So all of these are autosomal recessive. I can be very confident because these are common diseases. So all the common diseases which are frequently as happening. So all sickle cell anemia, autosomal recessive. Galactosemia, autosomal recessive. Thalassemia, autosomal recessive. Remember it's thalassemia and not, uh, you know, uh, hemophilia. Okay. So the correct answer here is D, color blindness.